We're in a transformative era where the, the capabilities of big data are being brought to the electric grid and into how our homes work. The goal is, of course, to make these things work in a way that's more convenient, reduce costs, and improves the quality of life of people in their homes and businesses. So that's why field testing in real people's homes and businesses makes such a big difference. That kind of understanding can save ratepayers millions and millions of dollars, and it's those kinds of insights that are only obtainable through this era of big data meeting the electric grid. What Intel makes possible is when you have to have a computing intensive, uh, processor intensive capability to deliver value to the people that you work with, you know, this is something that has to typically happen in the cloud. It, happens, it has to happen in data centers and it needs to be the kinds of computing systems and databases that can handle a very high velocity of data and turn it around in rapid fire fashion to do useful things for people and businesses. We started this, this organization several years ago and we were a, an energy focused organization. We were trying to figure out what the future of energy was going to be um, in homes and businesses around the country and what we've learned is that the challenges before us are just as much about data and communication as they are about energy. Organizations like ERCOT and other grid operators, they're looking at big data to figure out how to spot the trends, how to uh, implement demand response measures and do it invisibly to the customer so that customers don't have to make active decisions, but they can participate in programs that, that shave a little bit of peak at just the right time to make it easier for a grid operator and the consumer wouldn't even notice that it's going on. Well, I think utilities around the country are really, really good at keeping the lights on. But when it comes to seizing technology and the next generation of technology, they need companies big and small, ranging from Intel to local startups, to provide them products and services that will make their job better, more efficient, and more affordable. And so utilities need this kind of innovation to provide the kind of reliable and affordable power that we all demand. The work that Pecan Street is doing has been um, amazing because it's been a much deeper glimpse into uh, home energy use than has ever been done before. ERCOT is looking into the future of the grid mainly from the transmission level, in other words, 69,000 volts and above. Pecan Street is looking at the uh, residential and um, industrial and consumer perspective, and we're kind of meeting in the middle because both both sides have technologies that are new and kind of moving together into this, this new connected world. So the way that I think about the Internet of Things is that a lot of devices that were thought of to be sort of independent and standalone now have the capability of being connected. But one of the things that could be empowering about this technology is that if they have a common pipe, a way of talking to the cloud, a way of sharing data, across the board to research institutions like Pecan Street, to utilities, to ISOs like ERCOT, to your smartphone. All of these different places where that data could go um, ultimately can start to empower a much better understanding of the world that we already live in.